Some of the symptoms that one may present with when they have a mental illness will vary depending on the condition. For example, if one has anxiety, they will tend to worry a lot excessively to the point that it is preventing them from doing what they're supposed to do. So anxiety, you can be anxious because of an exam, an interview, and that goes away. But this one, we're saying that you're feeling nervous, anxious all the time, and this is preventing you from doing what you're supposed to actually do for the day. If it is depression, it means that your mood is persistently low, despite all that is happening around you. And because of that persistent low mood, which has been there for more than two weeks, then you also have lost interest in the activities that you enjoyed doing. And uh, if it is occupation, you're also not able to go to work. You're not interested in interacting with your uh, family, your friends. So that would be what you look for in depression. In schizophrenia, one may have uh, hallucinations, delusions, and uh, you probably identify that someone is either talking to themselves or has beliefs that are very fixated and they are not real. When it comes to substance abuse, um, then we are saying that this person is not being able to control how much they are using and so that means they will spend more time recovering from uh, maybe the substance that they are using, more time looking for the substance at, at the expense of now their obligations. So if it is uh, family obligations, they are not able to meet them. Uh, work also suffers because they are spending a lot of time looking for this substance or using this substance or recovering from the effects of the substance. And there are also what we call personality disorders. With the personality disorders, there are certain ways a person will behave that is affecting those around them, but to them, they don't feel like it is a problem. So uh, essentially, you'll see that their relationships are not okay.